joining us for a virtual parent orientation for New Life Christian School of Excellence. Welcome to our new partners in education and welcome back to our returning partners in education. We're thankful that you have chosen to entrust your children to us for this school year. I am Brenda Beckwood and I am honored to serve as your principal. Let's get started with our agenda for the evening with the introduction of our staff members. Our staff members are as follows. Kathy Harris, Mia Turner, Kendra Bethune, Adriel Whitfield, Sharon Lightfoot, Chandra Bridges, Judy Cheney, Jennifer Jones, Brittany Lawson, Tiffany Allen, and Jeray Brown. Our school calendar, first semester, there are some important dates we want uh, you to note. Wednesday, August 17th, that's the very first day of school, and we're excited and delighted. We want to see every face in the place, smiling, ready for education for the school year. The rest of the first semester calendar is listed. At this time, Ms. Kendra Bethune will come with the presentation. The traditional school day. The official school day is 7.30 a.m. to 2.45 p.m. Students are considered tardy after 8.10 a.m. With a minimum of 10 students before school care will start at 7 a.m. Please contact the information center promptly if you desire before school care for your child. Intake and dismissal will be at the rear door between the hours of 7.30 a.m. and 3.15 p.m. If you have a preschool and a school-aged student, drop-off is in the front. After-school care dismissal will be at the front door from 3.15 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. Eating at school. Breakfast has been discontinued. You may send a mid-morning snack for your child daily. This year, students have the option to participate in the school lunch program or bring a lunch from home. Please make your choice at the beginning of this school year for the entire year. There will be no opportunities to move between the two during the school year. Just as last year, our menu will be distributed monthly. Students who fail to remit the menu choice form by the deadline will automatically receive the hot lunch option. More information will be given about how to choose your selections by Mr. George. Now we will have Ms. Kathy Harris. School uniform policy. On Monday, Tuesday, and Thursdays, Students will be required to wear a navy polo style shirt with a school logo and navy or blue denim pants. On Wednesdays, it's dress for success. Boys are asked to wear navy blue pants or shorts, white monogram Oxford shirts, black or navy shoes with black belts, blue gold plaid ties, black or navy socks. Our young ladies are asked to wear blue, gold, plaid jumpers, skirts, or skorts, navy blue pants or shorts, white monogram Peter Pan collar blouses, black or navy shoes, blue, gold cross ties, white or navy socks or tights. Next, I'll speak to you about our school wellness and safety to ensure a safe and virus-free environment, we have instituted the following protocols. Face coverings are required by both students and staff. Masks are asked to be worn daily. All students are asked to wear proper fitting face coverings at all times. Hand sanitizing stations are located throughout the building outside of every classroom. Temperature checks will be implemented for students during morning intake. The normal body temperatures are 97 to 99 degrees Fahrenheit. 
Students may be asked to stay home if they exhibit a marginal fever between 99.4 and 100.3. We are a certified COVID-19 facility. The facility is thoroughly cleaned and sanitized daily. Visitors and vendors and parents conducting essential business will be limited to their access of our building. Next, we'll hear from our fiscal officer, Mr. George Matthews III. Parents, please take note of a major change we are making to our system this year. We will no longer allow parents to go in the ProCare system and pay at their leisure. The only way you will be able to make payments is through auto draft, and the auto draft will take place on the 5th and the 20th of every month. You can pick up an auto draft form on the first day of school, um, and you will dictate kind of how that draft goes on the form. You'll fill in your account information, and you can let me know there how you need to set your draft up, meaning if you need to split your payment between the 5th and the 20th, if you want to make the entire payment on the 5th or the entire payment on the 20th, or if you want to split up if it's applicable to your account, if you have after school care and your lunch payment. So on the 5th, you want to take tuition out. And on the 20th, you want to take your lunch and your after school care. You'll dictate all that information on the form. But that is the only way we will take payments this year. Um, I apologize if this causes an inconvenience, but this is the system that we are putting in place. And it's pretty much how we are going to run everything from after school care, New Life Christian School of Excellence. Of course, the change is already taking place with the Learning Center and summer camp as well. So please go ahead and make that adjustment so we can have a successful school year across the board. Now I'll go over a couple of the fees just so you can have kind of a shorthand note of what you have going ahead of you this school year. Tuition is $480 per month. Now the entire school year is $4,800. Now, if you want to make a payment at one time, I can do a one-time payment. I can do a payment if you want to split the payment in half. I can do that as well. I've already had parents reach out to me to ask me if those options are still available, and they are. Um, so that's to, the tuition amount doesn't change. The only break that you will get will be with the upcoming discount. So you have a 10% sibling discount, and that's if you have two children in our New Life Christian School of Excellence program. You'll get a 5% discount if you have a child in New Life Christian School of Excellence and a child in the Learning Center. You also have a grandparents discount, things like that. But all of our discounts will max out at 10%. Please understand that the discounts will not go past 10%. You can stack as many as you want. It's still going to be 10% when I get done with your account. So please just kind of make a note of that so you don't think you're, you should be paying less than you actually should be paying. Um, the book fee, K through 2, is $200. Um, third grade through fifth grade is $250. You have an activity fee of $100. You have a maintenance fee of $50. And you have a locker fee of $20. Now, all fees should be paid up front before or on the first day of school. Now, I have had parents go ahead and make those payments. Um, they've actually been making payments throughout the summer um, for those fees, so that's fine. Um, but the, like I said, the auto draft will pertain more so to our tuition payments. Now, for our new parents, so you, you can understand kind of the benefits of, of ProCare, you're able to go in ProCare and you can see everything that's out on your account. Each month as I bill, you can see what's there. Um, you can see any special events that we have upcoming in ProCare and also as a form of two-way communication via text and email between us as a school system and you as the parent. So ProCare does, you wanna kind of get in there and play around and make yourself user-friendly. Also, once tax time comes, you can print off your tax statement or anytime throughout the course of the year if you need a statement for things that have been paid or you know things that are coming out of your account you can print that statement off too on ProCare so you want to go ahead and kind of play around in ProCare and become well versed with with what we have in that system. Um, just to kind of summarize everything like I said again all payments will be debited from your account either the 5th or the 20th of each month every payment Every single tuition payment, hear me, from August to May, every payment will be drafted from your account on the 5th or the 20th. Um, I will also draft after school care if that's for you. After school care is $125 per month, and I will add that in your account if your child is enrolled in after school care. If I have a return from a draft, you can pretty much guarantee that there will be a $25 fee on your account that is associated with that return draft. Um, can you make a payment at the school? No, please don't come to make a cash payment. Don't bring us a check. 
Everything that we will handle will be handled through our ProCare system. As far as lunch goes, lunch is flat rate. I know you heard Ms. Bethune reference. Um, you're going to make a choice as far as lunch goes, and we will have a form ready for you on the first day of school that will dictate whether you are going to bring your lunch or you're going to eat lunch in our, at our facility. Now, like she said, you cannot flip-flop back and forth. So if, your child, if you and your child elect to bring lunch, we're expecting you to bring lunch every single day of the year. If your child elects to eat lunch in the facility, we're expecting you to eat lunch there every single day of the, of the year. Now, like I said, that lunch is a, a flat rate. It's $45 a month. The only prorated month will be the month of August, of which I will prorate it at $22 for that month. So the month of August will be prorated at $22 for the month, and every other month afterwards will be $45 a month, and that will be drafted out with your tuition on the 5th and on the 20th of each month. Um, and like I said, after school care, I will add those into that account if it applies to your account. Thank you so much. And if you have any questions, feel free to email me or see me on the first day of school. I'm pretty much around and I am ready to answer any questions that you have. Thank you guys so much.